Joined now by Raptors head coach Nick Nurse. Nick, it is great to see you. And first off, how have the last few weeks been being at home? I think we can all assume that you're probably at Carlos Santana level on the guitar right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wouldn't go that far, but I've uh, been playing a lot of guitar and uh, piano as well and just uh, really enjoying the time with my family. It's obviously difficult um, to be, you know, in the situation that we all find ourselves in, but just trying to stay positive and, and do my part, you know, stay home and, and um, do lots of praying for world health, you know. Absolutely. And that's certainly why we all staying, are staying at home and doing our part. And we've had the privilege of speaking to a lot of your coaching staff recently, and they've been explaining how you guys are still in communication. You've been trying to get some equipment to the guys, some basketballs, some hoops to the ones that can certainly fit it in there. Uh, how much communication have you had with the team and how are the players doing at this point? Yeah, we've had quite a bit. Kate, uh, first first of all, we, we check in with them every day, somebody within the organization to, to just check on general health just to make sure everybody's okay. Um, also on, you know, conditioning, like you mentioned, and some basketball stuff. We're, you know, we're trying to stay engaged with them, stay connected. Um, we've had some calls where everybody's been on together at the same time, and that's been, you know, entertaining and, and good to have everybody together that way too. So we're just, just trying to, like everybody else, manage it the best we can be productive, stay positive, and, and just be hopeful, you know? One of the things that has helped us pass the time has been reliving the championship run from last year. Have you been watching any of it? Yeah, I sure have, uh, especially recently, a little more recently I have been. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been really interesting from my standpoint. I, I, I must admit, I, I think I said this a lot during the thing last year, how I felt uh, really in a bubble, being so inside it and, and, and did a lot of that purposely, you know, staying off media, social media, and just really trying to focus in and be with the team and the coaching staff during the whole run. So obviously I'm seeing a lot of things that I didn't really know were happening. You know, you have some whispers about some things, but until you see, you know, a split screen of five different Jurassic parks and man, it's, it's really, um, it's been a lot to kind of to take in. And I, and I, I will admit, even though it's, I know the outcome of every, <laughs> every game, I, I've been pretty nervous watching them. And, and um, I think even maybe at times even more nervous than I, than I actually was when I was there coaching the thing. So it's been, it's been interesting for me. From yourself, do you watch some of the plays that you ran and maybe pat yourself on the back or think, oh, maybe I should have done something differently? Uh, a little bit as a coach, that's kind of hard on myself. Yeah. A little mm -hmm. bit of the first part more. I think, I think, uh, every now and then you do something that you're, you know, good and glad you made that move, but well, my assistants can attest to this too. While they're going on, I'm, I'm texting them saying, you know, we didn't get the ball in bounds, right. Or they scored on an inbounds play. We should have stopped that or whatever. So they're still taking the brunt, <laughs> they're still taking the brunt of, of us trying to get a little bit better Let's and improve where we can. Yeah. So tonight we get to rewatch game six, uh, one of the greatest, if not the greatest moment in franchise history. So game wise, I think there were so many memorable moments from that night, whether it was Kyle's start, Freddie's fourth, Kawhi overall once again. What was the one thing that you specifically remember from that game? Uh, the, the big thing I really recall is when um, we got on the plane and, and just the sense of the body language and um, everything that I could get from the team, the communication that I, I just felt really good about it. I just felt like, man, we're going there and we're going to win. I could, just, I could just feel like there was no nervousness. There was no uh, worry. There was, there was just, we're going out there and this is it. We're going to finish this thing off in this game. And, and it, wasn't, it wasn't like they were speaking those exact words. You could just kind of feel it in the way they were moving around and, and talking. What was that moment like, like thinking back? I remember seeing you with your family, your son Leo there. When that buzzer went off, what was going through your mind? Well, um, it's, it's obviously a, a big relief. And I think like the first thing is, is, is there's just so much that goes into those 100 games, you know, the 82 and then the 20, whatever it is, playoff games. So um, all that kind of um, – 
just the momentum and the, the constant work and the constant thinking and all that just stops, you know, <laughs> when that buzzer goes off and it's like, you know, all the, all the, all the days you pull yourself out of bed, um, getting to work, you know, striving and dreaming for, for getting to where we got to was, was there. And it was just like a huge sense of relief. Uh, very, very proud of the guys. I thought they were just phenomenal. Their, their effort and toughness and, and just they really, really wanted to win, and I was really happy for them. Coach, really appreciate you taking the time, okay. and to you and your family, stay safe. Yep, thanks a lot, Kate. Great to see you. Thanks for putting the games on and everything you guys do. Really appreciate it.